Drug calculations, heparin drip, example number one. You are preparing for an interfacility transfer. The patient has a heparin infusion ordered at 1,100 units per hour. You look at the IV bag and notice that there is 25,000 units of heparin in a 500 ml bag of saline, yielding a concentration of 50 units per ml. You are getting ready to set up your infusion pump. What is the flow rate, mLs per hour, that you will set your pump for? Now, let's start off with what the order is for. 1,100 units per hour. We can multiply that by 1 mL per 50 units. Now, you may say, wait a minute. There was 50 units per 1 mL. This means the same thing. You've got 50 units per 1 mL, and for every 1 mL, you have 50 units. Therefore, we are allowed to flip the equation. By flipping the equation, I can now cancel out my units of measurement. By canceling out my units of measurement, I am left with mLs per hour. Now you just need to multiply from left to right. We will have 1100 milliliters per 50 hours. But again, we need to divide this. We divide 1100 by 50 and we get 22 mLs per hour. You will now set your infusion rate at 22 mLs per hour for your inner facility transfer. Thank you.